Alright, so it looks like I am live now, so let me turn off the music in the background and uh, welcome everyone. Uh, I'm sorry about the tech issues I had in the beginning. Jose, hello. Uh, this is my second ever stream. The last time I just went live and this time I actually scheduled the stream and sent out lots of, lots of like promotions. Started streaming with my streaming software over there on my second monitor. And then I have the YouTube live dashboard uh, up so I can see you guys in the chat. It works. Thanks, Klaus. I'm glad to hear that because it showed from the streaming software that I was streaming. So the output went out somewhere on the internet, but YouTube didn't receive it. So I'm glad I got it to work. Um, all right. So the first thing I want to tell you, I actually also installed a what's called a bot uh, for you guys who have watched streams before. So it's called Nightbot, as you can see there. It's like a timed message bot. So if you click that link, the bit.ly link there, you can go to my forum and uh, because I want to encourage engagement in the stream. So if you are active here and then you go to, let's see if I can switch the screen in the layer here, to the forum here, to the pinned post, watch live, and then leave a nice comment, preferably about the actual event of this stream, which is uh, Heaviosity Ascend, the new piano library. Leave a comment here and stay engaged in the chat, and then I will pick a winner who will get one of my courses. So that is a uh, night bot. Now let, let's move on to Logic, and here we have it, Ascend. Let's see if I have, I hope I have sound output from Logic now. So this is just uh, the first patch that's called up um, when you load the instrument. If you look here in the categories, you have different types of uh, um, sound characters, basically. So this is the ascended wings, and it sounds like this. And if I hold down, if I hold down, let's see if I can do the sustain pedal too. So you can hear that kind of super airy reverb washy sound in the background, which may, basically, just to let you guys know, I've tested this uh, library for a couple of hours and I have over 20 or so libraries uh, let's see if the if the picture in picture works too, by the way, so you can see me at the same time. I have over 20 piano libraries, so why should I get another one? Uh, well, basically, Heaviosity is one of my favorite developers for sound design variations of common instruments, and it's the same thing here. So it's not an ordinary piano library, even though, if you check here, I don't know if you can see this on the screen here because contact interface is so small, but you have a core concert D. So it's based on a Steinway concert D piano. So if I switch to the basic concert D patch here, this is basically the standard piano patch. Let's see if I can move in so I can actually play a bit better. So you can hear, this sounds more like a normal piano. But it's not really anything special, uh, for me at least, because I already have lots of standard pianos. Uh, I can just compare to one of my favorites, Addictive Keys here if I want that more dry sound. So what I will use Heaviosity Ascend for is the sound design hybrid pad-like uh, piano sounds. 
So if we go to into the ascended, I haven't actually tested uh, these um, different patches, but I assume the ascended is like the pad-like texture. So let's switch to this. And by the way, uh, basically it is created so that you see here three different uh, layers, basically. So if you compare it to Omnisphere, where, where you can layer sounds, this is layered different... Uh, so this piano is played with a brush, twine, I didn't, I don't, I'm not sure what that is, and an ebo. So, as you can hear, it, it turns more into a pad. I feel that this is similar to... This entire instrument is similar to the Forso Heavy Ossity Brass uh, and their Brass Designer patch. Or, uh, or Novo, I think it's also called String Designer, by the way. So, does the chat work? Sound like bowed string? Yeah, so uh, there also is this middle thing here, which is movement. I'm not sure if you... I think you can record your own movement, in fact, so... Yeah, you can see that little bar. So I'm dancing around here, and... It is that crazy movement now. So here I just play super simple things because when you have these washy sounds you should be careful with playing too many notes let me just show you by, by the way so i just hold down a two note harmony basically like this and then i release it like that so super super simple but you can instantly hear that um you can get that unders ambient underscore type of vibe. So imagine this uh, kind of pad, almost like interstellar score or something, and then you add some strings on top of that. And I like sounds on and instruments that are inspiring, but also that you don't have to do much with and they still sound great. And that's what I felt with the... Um, this instrument. For instance, sound like string concertino in pianissimo. Yeah, basically, I think they used a lot of inspiration from strings. Isn't Ebo some kind of thing that you drag on top of strings um, on a guitar or something? I think so. This, this is what I mean. <laughs> Sounds that inspire you from the moment you put down your fingers on the keys, those are the best types of sounds. So I can totally get into the vibe. Ah, and you see already, I think my... I think my sustain, my sustain pedal for some reason gets stuck sometimes. So, but you see, when you start to play too many notes, it gets washed out very fast. The sounds. So be careful. Cosmic plax. So let's just explore the interface. What do we have here? I mean, so this is no movement, but we have the three layers. Uh, welcome, Don. <laughs> Welcome to this room. We're checking out Heaviosity Ascend today, and this is my second stream ever, so I'm sorry about any technical glitches and so. We had a difficult time getting started, but... So the settings page is basically the layering, the master mechanics, pedal up, pedal down, key press, so you, the ordinary stuff. Except for this motion thing. So you can record, let's set only one bar of motion. How do I record? Like so. And then you have that. What is that? Oh, so you turn it on and off. And I think, is this... Okay, so the layers you can... Mute here, I guess? Or... Yep, now all are off. So we can basically layer a... 
how do I get oh so here are the sounds and here is the triangle it's it's not super intuitive the interface I must say but um, the sound is what matters um, so let's say we have the classic piano here turn it on okay except we have lots of reverb as you can hear Is it possible to assign a MIDI CC to the layer ball? Let's see. I cannot I cannot right click on it. That would be really cool actually if it was. Uh is there any another way to assign other than right click? Um that would be really cool. I I, I don't know what the mod wheel does in fact. What are these small little... Can you see that small little sparkly... ...things in the interface? So I'm assuming that the convol convolve is the reverb. Or is it... Ambience here? Or... Ambience... And... Effect... You know, something I... I feel that I would have wanted instantly is... Uh, in Omnisphere, you can turn off all effects with one button press. So here, it's so many things that you need to turn off if you just want to hear a clean sound. Um, and this is just one layer right now. I just want to... You know what? I'm going to load up the concert D. So it's not a bad sounding piano at all. It's just that if you're looking for a standard classic piano, there are so many other ones you can choose uh, instead of this. Basic soft. that one. So it's a piano recorded uh, in PPP it seems. Let's go back to this in fact. Uh, here. So if you click, not really intuitive, you have to click there and then click there to go to the mixing of the layers. So you have piano, full mix, close. Let's see how how much does it take? 350 megabytes. So close. You have a room. So I guess one of the main advantages I can feel right now is compared to ordinary piano plugins, you mainly get a piano with a couple of microphones that you can mix between. Here you get very different uh, sound colors. I really like that. Under, I guess they have the microphone. Grand piano, FX mic underneath. Okay, so they have some information here. I'm sure you can't see it on your screen, but... Right, let's move on fast so we can get a feel for all the sounds. PPP, I guess the same kind of micings but uh, played in PPP. PPP close. Is there anything you want to want me to check out as particularly in the interface? Just let me know in the chat because otherwise I just will keep playing to check out the sounds. Uh, 
So in these PPP sounds, you can really hear the mechanics of the piano. I don't know how loud that is in the stream, uh, as this is a very low dynamics struck. So this is grand piano fully muted with rubber stoppers. Metal. Oh, harpsichord feel here. So, as you can see right now, I'm only playing one of the layers. Another great thing is that you can, of course, use three of these layers in this triangle and then mix them with this motion automation as well. Let's just quickly go through the wood grand piano strings struck with wooden sticks. A bit pizzicato in this way too. Hello, Phil! So I can see that in layering, I don't know when I would use this kind of sound alone. A chain, what is that? Grand piano played with chains rattling on the strings. This is why heavy is, is it, they are crazy and I love them for it. What? Wow! That was unusual. Let's play it in the low range. In fact, let me move aside so I can play something like... That was a really cool sound, I must say. Sustained, so they, these are the categories, I guess, and then the various sound design creations that they made. Brush is looped, sustaining brush tremolos on grand piano strings. Really, this reminds me of that guy from Spectrasonics who makes all the cool sound design patches. Diego, I think his name is. Really, really nice. Twine. Loop sustain of flossing grand piano strings with twine. Okay. So you can see uh, or hear already that this sound, together with another one of the layers, I, I'm, I'm certain that is what creates that magic uh, underscore type of character. And then of course an Ebo, for, because why not? And this is with no effects or anything on, just the default settings, crazy sound design tools, indeed. Harmonics, resonant grand piano harmonics. Okay. That was like a creepy gong or church belly kind of sound. Oh man, I'm so using this in a dark underscore let me let me try the low end and it's drifting in and out of tune that's awesome <laughs> all right so those are all the layers i suppose so now yeah really perfect for halloween so now if you click here again then click there i i don't like this that you have to now go first click there to turn it on then here and then choose something, and then turn it on. Too many steps. Um, here, turn on the PPP mix. So now we have a 
PPP mix, wood from struck and a full mix. And now uh, this is where I guess the Ascend library comes to live. What? Wait. Can, uh, uh, did I hear all the layers? Oh! Now I get it. So this is the mixing, basically. Uh, hello, Freedom. Welcome to the stream. We're checking out Ascend Modern Grand by Heaviosity. So this little circle, I guess, is the mixer in this um, triangle. So I can go from the wooden to the full mix to the PPP or somewhere in the middle. So Freedom, I'm sorry, I haven't... I just installed Nightbot, I'm not sure uh, what settings you have to use. I guess if you use too many exclamation points or whatever, emoticons, uh, the, it was deleting your message. So I will go into that and look later. It's only my second stream ever, so uh, be, be easy on me if I make some mistakes. So this is the first time I'm using the bot as well. Now, uh, so we know the kind of sounds you get, then you have, so the settings, the main settings as always, the source, mixer, modulation, oh, hey, who was it, Florent, here we have it, CC74 and 75 is the X and Y control. Let's see if I can map that to, let's do the mod wheel, learn, and this next fader. So something like this. And now I can... So I would like a like XY pad instead. Let me try if I can use this instead. Okay, that was awkward. Oh, so now I, I couldn't do that because then the pitch pen is there. Then we have an arpeggiator, yeah, classic, don't even need to check that. The echoes, turn that on. Oh, so not an ordinary delay here. We get a fifth and an octave, let's, let's try that. Oh. I find it hard to play uh, live with the delay on, to be honest. Let's see, then we have an effects section where, where we have tim timbral effects, um, compression, EQ, digital verb, hall, spatial effects. So much to choose here and I don't even know how to turn it on. Okay, so we, we put it in here. And... So, I had two things to say already. The sound is amazing for because you get that instant inspiration, but the interface is really tricky to get my uh, get around in. I feel perhaps I'm just not used to this particular. But you get so many sub pages, and then. I have to be honest, I will probably just start from a preset when I compose, because that's why should I not do that, because then I get something at least to begin with. So the ascended category uh, is probably this most pad-like, washy sound. It's a really cool delay. Um, effects actually. Delicate soft sustains, what is that? This is the kind of sound that I will use Ascend for the most. The kind of where you get that soft piano with the tail of a 
spacey, shimmery magic pad. Oh, definitely. Can you hear a string line on top of it? Just go around. That, that is the sound I want. Delicate soft sustain, so ascended, uh, dreamy metallic fifths. Hmm, something is strange here with the delay. I think echoes, says it goes in fifths and octaves, but hello, lazy pixel in the stream. Uh, by the way, I think that little wrench icon is that you are a moderator. So we have some moderators in the stream. I just uh, invited some people I respect and trust from the forum. And by the way, guys, uh, let me just show you. Go into here, into Watch Live in the forum, forum.professionalcomposers.com. Go to the pin post, write a, co uh, a comment here, and leave your name so I can see that, uh, leave your YouTube alias or name so I can see who, who was in the stream. So Lazy, Pixel, go into the forum and leave a comment and you can win one of my courses of your choice. Now let's continue, where were we? Uh, have anyone seen another like review or walkthrough? Any cool feature except for this layering thing, mixing layer in the middle, that you want me to check out? Because Wait a minute. What happens what happens to the modulation? I want to check this. So if I change preset, will it not keep? Oh man. I see something really bad. If I do anything like change the XY controller here, so I mapped it and then here, and then I shift to another preset, it will not remain. That is, that is uh, a shame, a pity, really, because I really want to use the mapping. But the sound, the sound of these ascended uh, presets are really cool. Where am I? Evolving muted resonances. The X-File theme. Oh, classic. One of the best series of all time, in my opinion. The triangle thing reminds me of Spitfire Phobos, works on a similar concept too. Yeah, so it's basically blending, basically a mixer for these three layers that you can choose which preset you want, or what type of piano recording you want, in fact. What I would have liked is uh, some kind of randomized feature for the effects and also to turn off all effects uh, with one button. But basically, there's so much stuff. I don't have time as a composer to go and sound design in detail the piano. That's why these presets is, will come in handy. So Phobos is blend IR to transform the sound. IR, is the, that's convolution, right? Because we have something called convolve here which I assumed was a reverb. Let me turn it off, and then turn it on. So, but there's also reverb here. So let's turn off these effects or all effects there. Yep, so yeah, this is the reverb. Haunting Grand. I I feel that the ascended these kind of presets is what I will use this for in the first place. Hypercomp. In trill from native instruments to morph, yeah, they have like the XY pad, but in this case is since there are three layers, it's like the triangle. 
Okay, so let's see what we can do with hypercomp. Let's see the next uh, metal insides. So this doesn't even sound like a piano. It's because you use an ebo here, a chain and a twine to get this really cool texture. Hello, Josef. Welcome. Um, hypercomp metal. So I could just use this since I am in the same category, I think. No, this one. Metallic Everglow. What do you think about this um, piano library so far, Joseph? So I feel that there are two main upsides of it. It's the inspiration from uh, the pad-like textures that are embedded like below the piano, um, and also the motion you have in many of these patches. As you can see, if you look closely, this little circle there, I think, represents the motion. Wow, that was that was really something. Uh, hello, Steve. Bought it last week. Love it. So I'm just gonna say that I really love the sound, Steve, as well. But do you find the interface a little bit intimidating to work with, a bit cumbersome even? Because there are so many uh, pages, and when you're going to go in here, you need to click here to turn it on and off and then click there and then click here to change whatever um i don't know i'm so far it, perhaps it's just a thing that i need to get used to let's turn on the next one um uh, sounds great everyone seems to think it sounds great at least minor meditations g minor wait should i just play one note Okay, so this is some kind of arpeggio. No? Is it the echo? So I'm not sure what you can do with these echo devices here. Replicate, generate. <laughs> this is really too much. I'm, I'm not fond of sounds that I need to figure out how to play, to be honest. Muted cascades. We're, all, we're still in the ascended category. In my opinion, the interface, interface seems to be a little complex. Uh, let's see, it's like note echo in reason. Yeah, it's like note echo, but do I need to like... Because if I hold down here... Okay, so this one just goes in octaves. Oh yeah, so cascades, you can choose off. Apparently not. So what is... is it arpeggiating? No. This is what so far is a bit annoying to me. I cannot figure out even where the effects come from. I turned off the effects. And I still hear some kind of echo. <laughs> what a little sparkling sound. Let me try that in the high range. So, super cool sounds, I just need to work out how to actually change them after I load the initial presets. Ominous bell tolls. Another dark underscore. I, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm thinking like this, 
Steve, only use presets so far. Yeah, the same. I feel this will be a preset engine for me personally. Simply too much to go into unless I create my own presets and save them, perhaps. But um, so far I feel the underscore capabilities. Hello, David! Welcome to the stream. So what I feel so far is the underscore capabilities of this piano library is what makes it shine and stand out in my over 20 piano libraries that I have. I have lots of Keyscape and Ravenscroft and all that stuff. But I mean, I don't have something like this. Just an octave in the bass. That is inspiration. Um, plucked emotive pad. As you can hear, I just need to play something kind of really simple on the keys and it sounds amazing instantly. See, let's see, punchy plucker, what's that? Okay, so here we get a mix of PPP close with muted and wood. Let's turn this in. I like this. I really love when you get... You have that real keys type of sounds. I get some attack and then you get the movement like this. This is how the sound looks like visually, I promise. I, oh, major? No major here. Um, so you get lots of variations in the types of presets. It's like, it's not like this. Let me compare with the classic piano, keys, uh, addictive keys. Why do I hear? Okay, so it's this in the background, I guess. I mean, do you want a classic standard piano? Go to Keyscape, Addictive Keys, Ravenscroft. I, I've got so many piano libraries. But if you want sound design type instruments, Heavy Ocity seems to hit the home run every single time. Oh, sorry about that. We're back at the ascended uh, scratchy old pad. Yeah, Steve, what other... By, by the way, guys, what... Am I the only one who has crazy amount of piano libraries? I'm just a piano hoarder, it seems. Probably because it's my main instrument, but... I'm a fan of pianos. David, what piano do you usually use in your music? Starlight Echoes. Wow. Strummed resonance. We're still in the ascended, I think. Yep. Go away. Not you guys. I meant the interface. Hmm. It wasn't a huge fan of that one. Subdued ostinato. I'm just, oh, I'm just holding the octave in the bass. Okay, okay, so now I'm gonna try something. I really love the sound. I want to try, since they have like an ARP engine, the arpeggiator to make an ostinato. So if I turn it off... Okay, so there's lots of echoes here as well. Let's turn on the arpeggiator. Okay. Steps, rate, 16th. Okay, so with the echoes again, what do the echoes do here? 
It's like, what is this echo engine? It looks so strange. But this is something I, I would love to use it for, like mm, pulses on piano. Wow. And then I mix and blend with this little layer thing here. Can you imagine? That is in the background. A bit too much reverb for that one. Hello, me Michiel. I'm sorry if I mispronounced it. David uses fractured sound pianos. That one I don't have. Embertone Steinman D. That is the Walker one, right? That is amazing. Uh, emotional piano, I have that one. Spitfire Free Labs, of course. So what I want to uh, figure out is how do I use... So even without the arpeggiator and echoes on, you hear some kind of movement here. Wheel, it's a wave basically. The giant, I have that one. East West, I don't have that one. Unacorda is great for that magical kind of plucky sound with a soft tone still. Right, uh, let's try the next one. Syncopated strikes. The downside when you have fast delays like that is uh, when I play that quick chord change, it really blends in too much with each other. Does it have felted piano? So uh, I'm not sure if you see, saw the beginning. If you go here, you basically have three different engines of piano that you layer between. So this one here, with this one, and this one. And then you blend them together. What you have is here, these common piano sounds, PPP recordings, which is not felt at piano, but I guess close to it. And then uh, struct pianos with different uh, objects and then sustained with brushes, twines, ebos, and so on. So you can do something like an ebo on this layer, and then a... Let's say PPP mix on that layer and then use this one for a under microphone under the piano and then mix it together. So of course the Ebo makes it sound like a pad instantly. Let's see. Do we have something left in the sanity category? Watery plugs. I would have loved if, uh, do you guys know if there's any website where people make their own like presets? So, I mean, you get these presets. Let's say I want more presets. Can people like share presets, these like contact presets of various libraries with each other? That would be amazing. In fact, we could even have a, a subcategory in the forum here where we could share those presets, I guess. Um, if that is something that you can do. I never try that. Let's see. Um, then you have the core concert D, which are the yeah, the classic piano sounds, basically. So you have a soft one, a classic one, compressed, dark, hard rock, lush ambience, old-timer, rare hall, soft wash ambience, and under the piano. Under the piano. Let's see. It's possible. Snapshots are easy to share. Uh, I'm not going to look into it right now. Do you, like, save it inside the interface? I don't really know whether I'll store the <laughs> no, me neither. So even the classic 
concert G preset uh, folder has some pretty unusual colors of the piano. Let me just play it below right here. I don't know if you hear my foot tapping along. <laughs> Click name save. Click where? Next to the title. Like here. There it's a save button. Okay. And where do those go? And how do I actually get... Can I do my own folder? That's what I would like. My own folder here. Mike's presets. Or whatever. So I can make something. Because I don't want to go in and design all these different sound design things every time I start a track. Right. <laughs> Let's see what else. Extended. Wow. That's a lot going on. Um, let's skip a few tests. Some endless Boeing's. I think you can. Some libraries have a folder to place. Somewhere to get the presets. So they have these kind of pads. I, I would call this a drone, basically. More than a pad. Especially if I just play here in the low end. I could use... I can definitely use that at a drone. Oh, thanks, Lacey. Let me know on the forum. And guys, again, if you haven't gone to the forum, go to forumprofessionalcomposers.com, go to the pin post, and then you write a comment here. And you can win one of my courses. I will pick the winner after the stream. So what do extended category mean? Is it more like... I don't think they have labeled it super clearly. I mean, ascended, what does that mean even? I, I felt that it was mainly pad-like textures of piano. Of course, the core concert D folder is more classic piano in a bit unusual colors. I like this one. Let's try it out. Lush Ambience is that cool, but it's still in the core concert D folder. All right, let's move on to the rhythmic stuff. Rhythmic and rhythmic melodic. Okay, bass runner. Ooh, yeah! <laughs> I love this one. It was going from ambient, beautiful underscores to bass runner. Is it, called, is it supposed to... Uh, riff on Blade Runner? I don't know. Really gritty kind of vibe. I, I, I can totally feel this in a more sinister action movie, dark action movie. <laughs> Base run, delicate plaques. Lacey has a good point. Love the sounds, but they are hard to blend with other stuff sometimes. If you do something like I just played this one, Bass Runner. Okay, so I will probably only use it for octaves like this. Uh, 
And then you have to do some filtering and EQing. Omnisphere has this problem a lot that some of the sounds are basically just too big. Um, which means that you either have to EQ and filter or use a very minimal arrangement in the actual music. So you just play. I would probably just use this for the octave, octave in the bass. And then what I just played in my right hand, I would do with another sound because it gets too messy, to be honest. Uh, delicate plugs, we tested that. Etherial? Do you say it like that? Etherial swirling. So we are in the rhythmic category of Ascend from Heaviosity here. Mm, a bit too washy to be rhythmic, in my opinion. Fields of echoes. Okay. I'm not sure. Mm, a bit too thin for me. Okay, so this was bright and kind of thin, but it has that soundscape background, which I like. So, again, this is how I will use it. I found something that is... Okay, so it's too thin. Well, then I'll just go in and what, find out what is it. it is that's too thin. Probably the wood thing here. Switch that to close. Might just be an EQ thing even. Filter, probably. Okay, so I, I, I must say I'm not a fan of this, all these tiny little things in the interface. It's simply too much for me. So presets it is. Good thing we have nice presets at least. So kind of pulse combinated with the uh, pad soundscape type of thing. Again, this is a piano library, but it's not really about a classic piano sound. So in this case, if I just play something like that, it was a bit too fast because of the delays. So I would just go and turn off the echoes. Something like that. Perhaps add, I don't even know what that after wash thing was there. Motion keys. And we are still in the rhythmic category. You can of course use this mix blend thing. Okay, so the wood is the thin metal to put it on more and close to get that deep end. Okay, let me just stop. I play too fast, I feel. What I would use this for is think about uh, I think it was Florian who mentioned X files. They often had this kind of slow So if you have really great sounds, you can play simple things like that and get the emotion that you need for your project. Um, motion keys. Let's move on a bit further to slow pulser. Florent, you're right. Mark Snow, that was his name. I actually, uh, I think this is my favorite, one of my top three series of all time, the classic X-Files in the 90s. And Mark Snow, who composed that soundtrack, 
go and li- if you like ambient dark underscore with that tension i mean you will love the soundtracks for that series simply amazing he used a lot in fact he was an innovator in p uh, mangling and sound designing piano sounds especially i think particular pianos in his scores let's do something not really this um this amount of um, echoes and stuff but uh, he did a lot of cool things with piano. So, I mean, I'm used to playing a an ordinary piano, which is why I play too fast here, because we have these washy kind of soundscapes. I need to learn how to play this instrument more like... Hold it! Hold it! It's like, it's like we're going to attack the castle. Now. This is what I mean. I need to learn to play this instrument for what it is, which is an ambient atmosphere creator based on piano. You shouldn't think of it as a piano, even though there are piano sounds in it. Most of the sounds are so atmospheric that you need to have the courage to hold the notes for a long time. Exactly, they are pads, not pianos. But you still have, in most of these, you have that attack that from the piano. But let's say I like that sound, but I think the kind of echo was too much. Where is it? Is it? It's not the echo there. Is it like here? Uh, so if someone have used this instrument uh, in the chat, let me know if you have found a way to like dial down what the types of effects that are a bit too much because I'm not sure what is going on. So you would just hold on. I, I, I like using octaves. But where is where is that well, 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 well coming from? Effects. I mean, <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know. The arpeggiator is off. The echoes is off, the FX is off, Convolve. Oh, so Convolve is not, not just a convolution reverb, it's... No, ambience. Wait a minute. Ah, I found it! It's the shape, it's an LFO, I think. So you can do, oh, it's, yeah, it's a gate. Ah. Oh man, now I know. And then you have this just roll. So you have, oh, I see. The Convolve engine is forward motion, reverse or rhythmic. So forward caverns is probably. So it's not reverb, it's it creates like ambience. Turn it off and we have ordinary piano. Mangle with effects. Exactly, of course, you can do this. You can always use an ordinary piano and do lots of effects in your chain. But can you get a particular kind of emotion instantly, like you can with the presets. The problem is, uh, it takes a while to actually program the kind of rhythms you want. Turn off. 
I, I always found contact since it's such a tiny interface and then they cramp in so much in it that uh, if I'm going to change this arpeggiator here, um, it's so tiny, so it's so tricky to actually go in and shape it. Let's go to the category Rhythmic Melodic. I'm, I'm just going to hold down one note again. I believe you're right, Lacey. For these rhythmic things, one note glory is the thing. Yeah, I use presets all the time. Uh, Lacey, did you have this library already? So as, as I use these rhythmic sounds, I can use one note and then just add a harmony somewhere up here, for example. Saving up for B <laughs> BBC Orchestra. Uh, oh, welcome back, Florent. Yeah, thanks so much for being here, you guys. Uh, much funnier, much funnier, much more fun to test out instruments with fellow composers that I even have part of the community here on Professional Composers. Yeah, so you can change the rate, of course. Let's do eighths instead. Goodbye, friends. Delicate dance or So, uh, anyone else in the chat is going to get the Spitfire BBC Symphonic Orchestra. I, I have to say I'm also tempted because I don't have any Spitfire libraries right now, to be honest. So being able to have the entire orchestra in one single uh, plugin uh, would be amazing. By the way, Lacey, do you know if they are going to have a Black Friday deal, even though the library is completely new then? The Spitfire library. Soft improviser. I like the I I love soft piano sounds. Okay, too much, too much, too many intervals going on. Yeah, I doubt it too. Joseph just got to Spitfire Studio strings. Any reason you does that mean you are not going to get the BBC orchestra, Joseph? Ah, too much, too many rhythms going on. I have to say, if if I go back, the extended and the rhythmic thing is pretty cool, but my favorites were uh, the ascended category, because we have this pad-like... Pad pianos, I love that. This is this is a magic piano to me. Use the sustain pedal. magical sound. So that is the ascended category. I'm sorry, I'm hitting the microphone. Oh, you just got it before the BBC announcement. Yeah. So I'm, I'm feeling like I am in a better position than many composers because I haven't yet invested in any other Spitfire libraries. So I get, I get to just plunge right in into their biggest project ever. So the ascend category... Again, 
these soundscape, soft soundscape kind of things. Just holding a perfect fifth or a harmony. And then have strings play on top of that. Perhaps a real piano even to play the melody. And we are on. And then the core concert. I actually liked that the ordinary. Mm, nothing special. But the soft one. I'm a f am I the only one who I'm I'm a real fan of soft piano sounds. I never love I never like those honky tonk type of rock pop pianos. Let's see, I think we had one in here too. Probably I don't know, hard rock. Not that honky, but kind of. So, uh, a bit of a mix there, compressed. So you have some classic piano sounds, I guess. But even in here, in the con core concert D folder, you have lush ambience, for example. One, these were one of my favorites. Yeah, let's see. The first category ascended is the pad like things. Really inspiring, but tricky to go into the sound design. So, what I will probably do is start with something like uh, the Core Concert D folder, go to the Lush Ambience or Soft Wash Ambience, even. And then, if I want to add something, add the effects later, like turn on uh, the Convolve here, change it from sweepers to <sighs> shimmers. You can see it changes here. You can change how many beats. 8 beats to make it ring out. Okay, so let's try something in the bass. That is what I will use to send Piano Library for. This, the magical ambient soundscape types of pianos. So I think that is it for this stream, guys. I'm sorry for the technical difficulties in the beginning of the stream. I hope it will work greater next time. I'm super happy to have you all in the chat. So uh, if anyone missed it, go into this watch live, the pin post in the forum, write a comment here, Lacey, don't miss it, because I will pick one of you to win one of my courses of your choice. Yeah, uh, even though I have 20 libraries, so let, let me give you my final summary. I have so many ordinary piano plugins and libraries, like Predictive Keys, Keyscape, and so on, but I don't have a ambient pad-like soundscape piano library, which is what 
Oh, uh, I, mean, I mean, how could you not love this sound? That is what I will use Heaviosity Ascend for, so if you guys have any final comments about this library, write it into the chat, or even better, go to the forum. I will create a post, if I haven't already, in the forum about Ascend, and you guys can leave your opinion after listening to more walkthroughs and demos, um, if you're going to pick this up, and so on. So, let me close it up and I'll see you guys in the Professional Composers Forum next.